So, man cavers, here we are, back. Another Saturday, another swap em, another auction. And here we go, the auction is up here. So, let's have a look, see what's on here today. So, here we go, we will start at lot number one. A barrel, cages, tire inflator, and light. What have we got in here? What are they? I don't know. They look like visors or something. A couple of old electric heaters. Several electric heaters. Big old aluminium bowl. Henry Hoover. Some more heaters. Right, we've got to come in this side, I think. Performance tool. That's a cheap one. A couple of wheelchairs. Some L-Tech bird feeders. Chicken feeders. Look at them. All l -Tech as well, half decent stuff. There's some big ones here and all. Stanley Fat Packs look like they've got a drill. Which works, look. I think that's half decent little drill. Lithium power. Some nice old wooden boxes. we got some horse, horse brasses in here. A workshop radio or a sight radio. Boxes of Lego and first aid kit. There we go. Loads of stuff on there. Ah, look at that in there. Inside a box, there's a nice old bench grinder look with a brass wheel on it. Always good for polishing. A battery, some alloys, some 4x4 four four alloys. Look like, I don't know, what are they, six stud shogun, something like that? Ain't got a clue couple of old bicycles. Wow, someone's been in the pub and done a job. Look, we've got some, we got some beer pumps here, look, beer engines. Look at that, aren't they lovely? We have an eliminated parking bollard and a wheel off a Ford KA or some fine thing or other. A nice big long feeder. She's a long one. Some old milk crates. Ah. They look like some plastic bushes. Good old tin dustbin. She's solid, she's a heavy one, that is. Ain't got no holes in either. Heap of casting, some mole traps, rat traps. Oh, look at this bit of Chinesium generator, look. There we go. What's someone writ on there? An old choke, look. It's got the six and a half horse Honda clone on there. Yeah, she's a she's a Chinese one though. Get a corn, probably alright. Another box of stuff with some polished stones and ornaments. A little plastic storage case. Very rigid as you can see. We have oh, a box of bits and pieces or a tub of bits and pieces. Some more plastic storage, we'll have a look here. There's a big old flywheel there. Some G cramps. A picture, there you go. Has Constable been to see us? Oh, that looked like John Constable to me. Not even gonna look in the box because I can see that's full of clothes. More sundries. Something up there is running, I can hear it. Someone started something. Oh, that's down the bottom there. We'll have to have a look. There's a mailbox. A mailbox and some clothes. Is this an old DVD player? No, that looked like an old preset box or something. Some hand tools. Oh, there's some counter here. There's a good old bird feeder here today, look. Good morning, how you doing? Marvellous. What we got in here, look. Oh, look at that. You like the channel, do you? Thank you very much. No, I shan't show your face. I'll just show the bird feed. No? No, probably, probably not. But. Do you? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. I used to stick a bit of bloody rag down the puddle, you know. Yeah, that sometimes worked, doesn't it? Well, yeah, but then that 
how the rat was floating and I used to leave him standing for a day or two and then give I didn't realise you stick a bloody blow lamp in the hole. That's how I do, yeah. <laughs> well, That's the way I do the bug of it. No, that you aren't mate, no. <laughs> Lovely, speak to you soon. Right, we have some tins, bits and pieces, some old oil lamps, CDs, some bags of clothes, a table, some more bits and pieces. There we go, water and can. There's a water sprinkler in there, I see. Ah, a little table, some more sundries box of brass. What's this mine aggery? Oh, it's this thing. I haven't got a clue. A bit of cast alloy, but I don't know what it is, but that's interesting. There's some more clothes here. There's a good old hedge cutter there. She's a hedge cutter, of course, I've only got a barb on one side, look. If they're barbed on both sides, they're hedge trimmers. If they're only barbed one side, they're hedge cutters. So that will cut a lot thicker stuff. There you go. Well, there's a butane lamp there. She's a good one, isn't it? Some cricket stuff. Oh, I need a new jacket. Ah, there we go. Yeah, look at that. I could go around looking like Tim when I caught up a wall. That couldn't I? There we go, so we have some scoopers. Still looking at that Tim Wanacott jacket. If you don't know who he is, look him up. There we have a shredder. An exercise bike, some umbrellas. There's some riveting stuff on here today. There we go. Ah, this was on here last week. And I didn't tweak what it was, but someone pointed out that is fork extensions for a forklift in it, and then you can hang a chain on it. I never tweaked that last week. Quite self-explanatory now, I've been told. We have some, well, old, they look like old heating bricks out of a um, storage heater. Electric lawnmower, a big food sign. That's quite cool, isn't it? Right over here. So we have a chainsaw, a McCulloch trimmer. So you go, there's a hedge trimmer, look. That's got cutting edge on both sides, look. There we come here, here, here. Oh, I like this sign. Dunham Carp and Trench Lakes, look, there we go. What the hell is this thing? It's fiberglass. It's a giant clothes peg, how weird is that? What we got in there, is this oil? Oh, that's empty, empty. Three empty oil cans. Some people collect them, but sadly not for me. Some Christmas cards, auto book. There we go, what have we got here? This is quite interesting, isn't it? Renault 6. There you go, if you want an owner's workshop manual, an auto book to a Renault 6, <laughs> this is your place. And, ah, oh, Chevy S10 pickup, look. Ah, very slight difference there. We have some lamps, belts, some fans, record player. Look at this. We could play the Waylon Jennings on this, couldn't we? Look at that bad boy. What's in the bag? Touch it with your toe, that's closed. An old computer monitor. She run on gas. Another box of sundries here. Some more sundries. Some more sundries and a didgeridoo. Oh, oh, there's still stuff coming in, look. There we go. Yeah, more brass bits in there. Some more stuff here. Bits and pieces. Got oh, a nice old satchel box there, that's quite smart. Some old brass jugs, plenty of brass there for the scrap man today. Oh, there's some wheels. <sighs> yeah, what size are these bad boys? I bet they're not 12 inch, are they? They are. They are 12 inch. 4 by 12s. Ah, oh, I don't know whether that they go on the um, Bonza. I don't think they're wide enough. 
works. I do need a new front tire for the Ponza, and that might just do the job. Morning, Paul. How you doing, buddy? There's some little mini wheels. Another box of stuff. Look at the old gas lamp. She's a good one. Is there anything in it? No, oh, she's a bit empty, I think. Look at that. Look, 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 look. A box of starting handles. Now, I can tell you now, that's a Petter A1. I don't know what this one's for. Nice little, nice little bundle of starting handles there. Look. Very handy. Very handy indeed. Now, look at this for a wood plane, though. Now, she's a big one. Whew. She is one big wood plane. Some old mold traps and some old wooden yard sticks. <clears throat> Roll of wire. Shelf brackets. Some orange beacons. Some heavy caster wheels. Ah, some goodness, but oh, they... Well, them buggers are pump-up, look. I've never seen pneumatic caster wheels before. Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? Lovely old box. Some nice wicker baskets. Some automatic feeders. Ah, some fisher. See, um, water, sorry. There's some camping stuff in here. I bet there's a gas stove in there to go with this lot. Good couple of chains. Some hinges. Yeah, if you want any hinges, that's the place to come for hinges, love. Who'll try hinges? Old brass bed warmers. I remember my granny used to have some of these hung on her wall as decoration. Pitchfork. There we go. Spades. Oh, look, we got a steel. Look at this bad boy. No steel, straight shaft strimmer. She's a good one. That'd be a bloody good tool, that. There's some angle. There's some big old burners. There they are, some big ones. Bloody wall. There's outside lights. There's set of bulbs, look. Do you know, these could come in handy for rallying. That screw fit, not bayonet. Yeah, they're all screw fit. But they would come in lighting projects for stationary engines where you can't use LEDs. Hose pipes. Oh, lovely little voice. Oh, it's got a broken jaw, that's a shame. That is a nice little voice, though, but the jaw's broken. I need a voice for the new shed, actually. We have 110 Transformer. Another lead light. She's an old one. She's a bloody good one, I think. Boxes of screws. There we go. What have we got here? Motorous windscreen wash pack. Look like that's a... I don't know, an opal manta or something on the front there. Quite cool. Big old roll of barbed wire. A nice long roll of brake cable. Another roll of barbed wire. An old, oh, it's got writing on that one. Look, look at that. Is that silkaline? Very nice. And here's another, I don't know. Did they used to keep fuel in them or ethanol or something for racing? I don't know. That looks familiar. A couple of gas cylinders. Empty and empty. Some life aids. Big old glass bottle. Step. That'd actually go on the camper. We could really use that, but don't make a lot. That's ours. A drill. Some clay. Ooh, old flu pipe fittings. Some alloy bits, look like plasterers things. A box with... This is also very handy. An old battery charger. That's the old school one. Another battery charger. Tire inflator. That's a nice box and all, I like that. There's some more fire extinguishers and a pair of boots. And here we have something a bit unusual. We have a unicycle. Fancy a unicycle being on it. Box with some nippers and spanners. All kinds of bits. What's in a little Bosch box? Little screwdriver, which don't work. Might charge, don't know. 
some uplighters. Oh, it's not very often you see this. It's not very often you see a Range Rover Evoke on an auction. Oh, that ain't a Evoke. That's a Discovery 2, look. There we go. So if you are, <coughs> if you want a Discovery 2, come and get one. There we go, look. That's very good indeed. There we have seed incubators in the eggs, is it? Oh, no, that's a seed incubator, I think. A big old bench. She's a good one. What we got in here? A kitchen light, a brand new one. An extension. Some bits and pieces of CB radio. CB. Break on one nine. This is a rubber duck. You got a copy on there, Pig Pen? Come on. There we go. Yep, we're going oh, yep, to. We're going to. He's there. I oh, can hear him in the distance. Right, here we go. We got some old bottles. Oh, look at these. Oh, some nice old ones. Some old glass bottles. And a. TFT screen monitor for something. Go on about that. And a cutting disc. Such a random box of assortments. Here we have a brand new wash basin. That's a nice one, isn't it? We have some nets, some more netting. We have a little duck. We have a wheel, a fly mo, a hose reel. Look at this lovely old fire screen look. There we go. Lovely old fire screen bucket with some bits in. Now something that was started was up this end. So one of these three items here, either that still, this still, or this chainsaw, which looked like sash, is it? Yeah, dolman, yeah, dolma. Bloody good hat of damn. These are all good good tools actually. This dolma chainsaw. <sighs> Still, still 89. That's a push cutting attachment on there. Look, strimmer, bits and pieces. There's a sundial. A nice old stone one as well. It's quite smart. Isn't it? Now we'll come up this end. Let's come up here and look and have a look. Well, oh, there's a picture. Yeah, there's definitely a picture of a Vespa or a Lambretta. Can't tell the difference. Some flowers box of toys, a lamp, some more stuff. Oh, look at this old fire grate and jerry can I've missed here. I don't know why it's a fire grate or you put plants in it, wouldn't have a clue. Big old bag of stuff, a box of crocs with a little wooden ornament. Oh, 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 I see a teapot and some saucepan lids in there, all good stuff. There's some coil springs, an old pair of gates. We are at the end of the auction, guys. Some chairs, just suitcases of stuff there. Some chairs, toys, dog cage, an old stool. A boot spoiler off something. Welcome to the 1990s. There we go. A big old galvanised stand, what you put a parasail in. And that's about it. I think we've got to go over the other side now to the home stuff. All right, we're back over this stuff where we got an oven and mini grill. We're going to sort of scoot through this stuff. There ain't too much here. There's a dartboard. Old tea urn. Oh, there's some treasures here. More wicker bits, household bits, suitcases. There's a little set of saws and a strimmer. There we go, saws and a strimmer. I think she won a bit of a dust off, but probably been in someone's shed, a box of cables. There we go, there's an electric wheelchair, or I ought to say a wheelchair with like the remnants of electric motors on it. How bizarre. Close error. Several bits and pieces here. Boxes of sundries. More boxes of sundries. If I see anything of any interest, I'll get down to it. Let's put that back in so we don't want to catch the leg on it. Look, health and safety is awry. There we go. We've got everything here. 
I don't want to get anyone on film because I am trying to be cautious about getting people on film. Well, it's bits of a coffee machine. Hand cleaning gel. There's enough bottles of that. Look, oh my word. And there we go, some more bits and pieces. There we are. Cushions. Let's come this side. This is all random stuff here. There we are. Bit of, bit of fake copper stuff in there. Chair. More bits and pieces here and a book. Oh, there's a megaphone. Hello, 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 hello. Ah, oh, she's a damn good one, isn't it? Always ordered one of them. Oh, fuck me, there's another one, love. Two megaphones. Hello, hello, hello. It's your mother. No, no, not there. Right, let's have a look on the... Ooh, I got some top hat clocks. Right, let's start around this end and see what we got here today. Right, we've got books, table bits, ornaments. Oh, we have some LPs, Paul, Paul Simpson, Charlie Rich, Charlie Pride. Christ, we've got some good ones in here. Oh, we see Andy Williams there as well. The Searchers, Charlie Rich again, Boney M. Mm, I had one of them the other night. Andy Williams. Did I just say that? Right, we have some ornaments, pots, nice old earthenware stuff there. Do you like earthenware stuff? There's some old bed pans there, look. Perfect for planters these days. All we got in here, the new slipper bed pan. Look at that. The best English ironstone. If you want to read that, you'll have to pause, won't you? There we go. There's some, oh, there's a camu hat there, look, I wonder what that was. I thought there was an old set of leaves. That's a camu cap, look. There you go. That looked quite cool. An enamel file, small binoculars, a John Deere. Oh, we got here, Milwaukee. We have a Milwaukee neck, neck thing. Neck gator, scarf. The Lucas Aid thing is still here. There, oh, there's that little air gun again, that, that little revolver. Ah! Somebody's found the magazine for it. Look, I'm sure last week that magazine weren't in there. Maybe I missed it. I shall have to look back. Another air rifle. BSA. Looked like an air sport or some sort. A nice old boot. Ship. There we go. More John Dick. Look at these lovely old top hat clocks. Look. One, two, three, four, five of the damn things. Aren't they nice? Oh, look at these. Oh, these are really attractive. These are old yellow electric lamps. I like them. I tell you, if the missus had let me have these in the house, I'd put them up there, but I don't think I'd be allowed. This is not as good as the Tim Wanacott jacket I've seen over there, which I still keep thinking about. Right, here we go. Some more old bottles. Oh, look at these little medicine bottles, look. Look at these little cuties, aren't they sweet, look? Cute little things. Oh, perfect for folk in the field. There you go. When I go to a folk festival, I could really wear this. That is cool. That is so cool, I love it. Motorcycle jacket. And the rest of it is... Mustn't show you that, because that's paperwork and personal stuff. So we have had a look round. This is the look round the auction on the Saturday. I hope you can see me. Yes, the sun's in the right place. Look, big old cattle lorry going past. Look, need a big one. Right, we will be back because there isn't too much I want here, but there are a couple of bits. So we'll come back and have a look at them. And we'll see you guys later on in the video. And we'll be back to see some of this stuff. So, ah. back in a bit, guys. Do I start out? No. Go. Help me out here. Can I get my fuel? No, I can't start out.
Oh, it's all right. Oh, it's all right. Steady, you all. Eight the back. Nine. Ten. Fourteen, sixteen, okay. in front, eight nearly 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 16, down here, 16, 16, 8 anywhere, 8 anywhere, 18 for a spinner. 20, 22, 24 anywhere, 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 Four this way, five anywhere, five anywhere, five anywhere, five, anywhere. five here, six, seven, seven here, eight anywhere, eight anywhere, eight anywhere, we're still at seven. Do you want five me to bring it over? Yeah. Five here, five here, that's not nice. great. Five here, there, 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 five Nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-two, thirty-four, 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 thirty
Thank you very much, Alan. Nice. Two back, two back, two back. Two back. Money, half your money back, you've got. 
Let's have a look at what we got. Now then, some of these things you see me buy, others you didn't. I managed to get the Thurl camper van step. There you go, it goes on your camper look. I do need one of these. So that's a really good purchase for seven pound. Because these are a fortune if you buy them ah, new. So he can be stored down there. What else did we get? We got this angle poise lamp needs a bit of attention i mean i think it was i can't remember what i paid for this now but four quid not a lot but i think if we get this little attachment nothing looks broken i think this piece just goes over this piece and then this circular end go over here and i think that'd work and obviously the wire go through the middle i yeah i'm pretty sure i can sort this not really a problem we can soon feed a new wire through angle lamp a box i don't know why i bought this i think it was to see if these are probably knackered and out of date but there's plenty of these pencil batteries in here and not being funny i've got no end of things what need these i think this box was a quid two quid it wasn't a lot i've only got to use one cable out of this and it's paid for itself do you know what I mean? We've got lots of sets of brand new cables here. More batteries, look. Cables. Do you know what I mean? We might use something. And today's novelty item. There's always a novelty item, isn't there? A spur of the moment. What have I bought? Yeah. Nobody wanted this thing. And it was two quid. Big, crudely crudely moulded bottle with a vent in the top and a flip up handle so this thing will swing so what is this guys it's there's nothing stamped in it i have a rough idea what it is because they did say and it is written on the label on the top to a degree so let's have a look what do you think this is it's all metal very old Grr. The cap has got a vent in. This is solid. There's no hole in that. So there's a vent in there. It does unscrew. It's not really going to show you a lot. There we go. That's all what's on the inside. So what is this bottle for, guys? And the bottle is actually moulded to fit this steel strap. So it's not as if this has been added later. It is how it should be because that's actually embossed into the glass. Quite thick, quite heavy. What would this bottle have been used for? This is today's mystery item. Let's see how many of you can guess what should be in that. I only know what the auction said. 
and the little bit of information I've read off this top aluminium plate don't tell you exactly what it is but you know what should have been in it so what do you think should be in this bottle guys marvellous anyway that is a look round today's stuff drop in the comments what this is and also i just want to point out um some people i understand are a bit funny about me filming at the auction which is i kind of get it I spoke closely with the auction staff this morning, with the owner, and said, look, do you mind me film? And he said, I don't care. He said, a couple of people are a bit sort of uncomfortable. And he said, but, you know, I know you're not purposely getting people's faces in. No, I don't. I don't purposely try and film anybody. Um, sometimes when... When the guy holds the stuff up, yes, I'll show what it. And yes, there are people you can see in the background. But um, I really wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, look at this thing. When you're watching Bargain Hunt on the television and they're filming in the auction house, do you ever look at the people in the audience? Do you ever look at the people who are sitting down with them? No, you don't. You look at the item, you look at the presenter, you look at what's going on. Nobody is going to take any notice of you. Trust me, they're not. So, please do not worry. I do not film people on purpose. I try not to film money exchanges. I try and keep everyone's privacy to... admit. You know, I try and keep their privacy as much as we can. But trust me, nobody is going to take any notice of anybody in the background. No one's looking at you. They're looking at the stuff what I'm pointing the camera at. Believe me, nobody's you don't look at the you don't know, you don't look at audiences when you're watching television. You don't take a blind bit of notice. So I wouldn't worry. And yeah, that's okay. So I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. DPD are in the village look. Like and subscribe. I'm sure most of you have and we will see you next time. But here is our mystery bottle again. What is this bottle? context I think it's probably I haven't measured it I'm guessing it's uh, best part of oh, probably 10 or 11 inches to here 12 inches to the top of this little knobler but what is this thing with the little valve in the top what's the bottle for and there you go and what do you reckon to our angle poise engineers lamp which I think will go lovely mounted above my hacksaw can you see that bolt this thing on or a trolley the hacksaw this thing can go on and be a little work light isn't that low oh they look good stable mates together yay or nay <laughs> that was my bright idea right i'm gonna go guys thank you very much for watching again and we will see you next time bye bye for now ha ha What is the bottle?